Good food is not everything, but without it, everything is nothing. Welcome to our show, Kitchen Treasures. In our kitchen, you will discover lots and lots of treasures. And these are actually treasures that can prevent you from diseases and can even reverse many of the diseases. These are treasures that actually comes from your fruits and vegetables, nuts and grains, and the plant foods loaded with vitamins and minerals, phytochemicals, and antioxidants. Our show today is so special because I am with a very special somebody here. He's my husband, David Verona, and he'll be teaching us how to make soy milk. But before we start the show, we would like to challenge you gentlemen watching our show. You know what? Real man helps in the kitchen. So, David, welcome oh, yes, to our show. Uh, bless you. I'm happy to be back here in your kitchen. And now we are going to have our soy milk mm -hmm. and the different things that or cookeries that you can have out of that soybeans. So, soybeans actually is the most uh, popular when it comes to the Asia, beans. Yeah. It is so popular, beans right now, and it's all available anywhere. We are challenging our viewers mm -hmm. to find their local soybeans, right? The organic yes. one. Yeah. Because organic, in organic, as long as it's available yeah. in your place, that's fine. But if you get the organic, you can make more soy milk, right? Oh, yes. Okay. So how do you prepare this soy milk? Oh, so we, we had a good start by placing our soy milk. We soak our soy milk in water for around uh, eight hours. Mm -hmm. But if you want shorter time, four hours, do it with warm water. Mm -hmm. And then after that, uh, you will see some bubbles on top of the water. Then you throw that off, wash it again around twice, and then you peel the skin remove the skin yeah you dehull. okay you dehull the soybeans uh -huh. so it you can now imagine soybeans that is without it, skin yeah uh -huh. you remove the skin one by one mm -hmm. and try to imagine how much care and love you're placing there every time you prepare this okay so do you need to put sterilized water when you soak the soybeans no just just mm -hmm. tap water but in in some places where it's accepted for them to have the skin with the soy milk it's fine Th Although, they can also do that yes yeah. Yeah. especially if they're not so sensitive with the gas mm -hmm. maybe or it depends upon the acceptability mm -hmm. of the community now once you have soaked your soybeans you could cook that one as your bayan. So that's already, you know, can be yeah, placed could be, to any of your you entree. Could, yeah. You could saute that one or add vegetables with it. You can put sotang hon mm -hmm. maybe or some leafy vegetables and that's already your, okay. your entree. Or that can actually be your soup, right? Yes. Yeah. And if you want to have another experience in doing it, then we need to squeeze the milk out of it. Mm -hmm. Just like the coconut. So, you need a grinder, if not the blender, or some juicer that they have. So, and they will be straining you the Yeah, remove the, the pulp. Milk, the pulp. That's what you are doing with the coconut. You squeeze mm -hmm. it out, and then the juice is your soy milk. Okay. So, again, friends, it's so easy to follow the instruction. All you have to do is remove the skin after soaking, of course, for several hours, and then boil. Sure, you need to boil. Oh, no, oh, wait, wait. I need to blend first, squeeze, yeah, and squeeze. then get the milk. Extract the milk. Extract the milk, and then boil for how many hours? Oh, it's only 30 to 45 minutes. Oh, yes. only 30 it's minutes already to 45 cooked. minutes? Yeah. But if you would like to have a, a real milk uh, taste. Creamy. You need the... to boil in very, very slow Fire. Oh, so that's the four secret. Hours. Yeah, that's four actually hours. the secret. Uh -huh. Very low fire, but it must be longer. Yes. Yeah. So there, the, your guide is there will be only one bubble mm -hmm. or two. But if you would like to have it fast, that would be around 30 minutes boiling. But it, you, you will not really reach to that creamy and milky taste. Creamy and milky taste, huh? uh -huh. I like the creamy taste. So for industrial purpose, uh, let's say for mass production, we just cook 30 minutes and 
for commercial. Yeah, yeah, fast. But, but if, for home use, yeah. and you do not have anything to do the whole day, oh, I tell you, cook in slow fire and, and try to look at that. If it is there for the starter especially, mm -hmm. and you will be substituting this milk to your children, I personally believe you make it longer so that the first taste is really best, huh? Yes. Mm -hmm. As now, if you are drinking a cow's milk, you told us that you have to remove the pulp. All right. Can we cook the pulp in other cookeries? Like, can, can I turn that into patty? Yes, or, yeah, patties, or burger. meatballs, vegetarian um, meatballs. What do you call the long one again? Uh, the embutido, embutido yeah, okay. the embutido. So there is no waste here, huh? Mm -hmm. You get the milk and you get the pulp for your entry. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's good. Now, okay. um... The soy milk is already there, right? Mm -hmm. But if you want to turn this into, into taho. All right. It's like taho. this. One soy milk, and then you place uh, another ingredients, uh, gelatin, gulaman, or something that will harden a little bit. That would be your cold taho. Mm -hmm. And then you put harder, it will be a harder taho. Okay. And then if you put... No, that, that uh, actually not... Yeah. yeah, we can substitute the gulama, not there's... the gelatin, because gulaman is plant-based, right? Okay. Okay, so the gulaman is best. Oh, so you, you can like even better. have the karajinan. Mm -hmm. Just put little kar karajinan. It's it's available here in Asia Pacific. Yeah, or the gulaman. Or the Philippines, we have lots of this. Just put the gulaman and then it will form. Yeah, but you need to cook the gulaman separately. Yeah, sure, sure, sure. You cook it to separately cook. and then... Mix the together. ratio and proportion, oh, it's up to you, Blessy, whether you like it soft or hard yeah. or even just by the looks with it, it melts, you know? Yeah, and there's sometimes, there is some gulaman that are colored, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. you can make colored taho. Uh, you can get your red gulaman and that's already red taho. Yes. You can get the yellow gulaman and that becomes and yellow you taho. E experiment is... Uh -huh. uh, Guys, the limit, yeah. Now, if I want this soy milk mm -hmm. to, to, I know, I want to turn this into, what's that? Tokwa. Tokwa. Or toku. Now, you don't put gulaman, gelatin, taho, mm -hmm. or anything with that. What you need to do is extract more of its water. Mm -hmm. So you need a strainer. But you will be putting uh -huh. the coagulant. It can be yeah, it's it can be calamansi yeah. if you like for local one. Okay, yeah, for the calamansi, vinegar, mm -hmm. seawater, mm -hmm. sterilized seawater. In Japan, they call it nigari. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Or if you can have the the commercial. There, there is a calcium sulfate that is food grade. It's oh, made that's for from commercial. Germany, Japan. Mm -hmm. That's how we do it. But you know the coagulant doesn't goes to the it doesn't go to the doesn't mix with the with the tofu meat right yeah because it goes out with the way yeah that's right so if you know how to cook it good it doesn't mix with your it only mixes with, with the, your tofu. the tokwa the, to, the tofu if you hurriedly mix it there all together and it doesn't have time to react so you have to give time Di really and be it very out of it. careful in mixing it. Yeah. Yes, and then you pour and uh -huh. give time. If you notice that upon putting that uh, uh, coagulant. coagulant agent and in two minutes it became tofu, that's so fast. It needs to be around 20 or 15 minutes mm -hmm. to make it soft uh, tofu. But if I want it hard. <laughs> if you want it hard, then it should coagulate in five minutes. Okay, so that is the do I need to one. add more coagulants? No. Or oh, it's just it, it, the same? it depends upon the cookery that mm -hmm. you, you would like. You have it hard, soft, you know. I, if you intend to throw it to your neighbor, then make it harder. <laughs> but if you, you like to, to give it for love, then just put a little coagulant with that. Okay, for the coagulant, you should remember that y the p that's powder, right? But you yeah, powder. you have to m to melt it yeah, first just, just in like water. The, dilute it in just uh -huh. like what you do with the cornstarch. Yeah, dilute mm -hmm. it with what? Don't, don't pour the powder, okay? No, not not directly <laughs> on the kettle. Yeah. So you have to do it separately, and then once diluted, that's the time you put it there. Now. There is some technique in uh, making the tofu. If you strain the water immediately, 
it becomes so hard. Mm -hmm. If you strain it very slowly, taking time for it to coagulate and settle down, then you will have a soft tohua. That's the tofu. Mm -hmm. But the base can, is just one soy milk. Can you tell them that we can actually modify tofu? Uh, we can turn the tofu into wide vari variation. Yes, so you know, flavor we, like we can add celery and. Okay, we start with. Okay, with wait. The uh, before we, we, we do that, before we do that, I'll try to put on first the blender. Huh? All right. Okay. So what we do with our taho? You could have a taho that is uh, with mango topping. You could have a taho with uh, strawberry topping. You could have a taho with uh, caramel. Mm -hmm. Oh, let's see. It's unlimited. Name the fruit that you'd like to put on top of your taho. Mm -hmm. That's a different flavor so, from time to time. Same is true with tofu. Yes. And th those of you who, are, who, who have already experienced making tofu, you can put malunggay powder in your tofu before, mm -hmm. you know, before forming. You know, yes. We, maybe malunggay with the uh, chap. Yeah. Okay. Or you can even put, um, you can even we put... We even tried uh, diced carrots mm -hmm. or chives. Mm -hmm. That will be good. So it's up to you. You, you could even put Wide tamote variety, huh? and mm -hmm. everything. You could put even raisins on the tofu. Wow. <laughs> oh, yeah. It will be a I love different basil. idea. I love basil. So maybe I can just put my basil and my, you know, I love oregano. So the smell of oregano is really perfect for me. I would rather put and, oregano and basil. And bless you, before I forget, just like with the soy milk, uh -huh. you could put banana, you could put uh, corn, mm -hmm. you could put peanut butter. That would be different flavor. I tell you, the beanie taste that gets in there will be removed and your children will like it so much. That's the secret. We want to remove the beanie flavor. So if you put other ingredients, you know, it becomes the flavoring. It becomes the, especially if you will All be right. putting fruits that have a little bit strong flavor. I think we need to start with our mango. Is it okay with yeah, you? Yeah, sure. I have a mango here. So we need the ripe one, huh? Uh-huh. Yeah. Let me test this one. Good. And we pour... Little only because... Little, okay. Little maybe a bit. Maybe mix this one. By the way, this formula is better than any other, you know, regular milkshake around. Because yeah, yeah, we I'll, don't I'll have... Not too much because we will I'll be... I'll grind it and put it back again. Okay. <laughs> because it's a little it bit icy. It has some huh? ice, yes. Now, if you want really the the icy icy shake you can freeze your soy milk by the way the soy milk that we have right now has no preservative mm -hmm. so the only preservation you cook that soy milk last sunday yeah yes. right and then after cooking cooling put in the freezer for mm -hmm. preservation yeah okay so that becomes so icy mm -hmm. And so, we can now put some fruits. Actually, the best fruit to add is frozen strawberry. But this time, we will be adding mango. Okay. Okay, so let's try to add mango, sweet mango. Mm. And the mango actually can make this smoothie mango, mango <laughs> a soy milk smoothie. So, let's have... Oops, that's enough. This so, enough. we will be adding mango, maybe a... a a piece of mango, a slice of yeah. mango. Yeah. So that's enough? Yeah. Okay. And then grind it, blend it. Mm-hmm. Just for a few seconds. few seconds? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Tell me. One, two, three. There we go. Done? Not yet. Oh, not yet. I thought it's <laughs> only a few Because I can still minutes. see some oh. big portions. <laughs> okay, that's enough. Enough. Okay. So that is already your mango smoothie. Now to enhance this mango, can you see it? It looks like there it looks are. like melted ice cream. 
So if you want to enhance this one, you can even put some of your flax seeds. So this is your uh, uh, grind, uh, grounded flax seeds. Okay. So you can put on top maybe, especially wow. for diabetic patients. So you could have a plain mango and then another one like that, or you put raisins on top of it, or any of those, right? Yeah, you're, or you can even put a slice of fruit on top. You don't do it all at the same time. You, you serve plain mango today, and tomorrow that's the time you add your flaxseed. The next day, that's the time you add your mango again. Yeah. So that there would be a variation. So you can put on top oh, your mango. Oh, that's really nice, Blessy. I want to taste that one. Mm -hmm. Now, the next one that we will be doing is kamote smoothie. Yeah, so mango with kamote flavor. Purple kamote. Yeah, okay. So not, not plain soy milk, right? Not plain. Yeah, so just half of that. By the way, this soy milk is a little bit bland. So mm -hmm. the fruits or the added ingredients that you put can actually add flavor. Maybe we can okay. just have... There we are. That's Half good. the kamote. Mm -hmm. Then we'll make then, a plain kamote blend. later, right? Is that with mango? Yes. Okay, so this is mango and kamote mm -hmm. combination. So it's now a little bit purple. Mm -hmm. It's It becomes like ubi ice cream. I think we're done. So we can put here your mango and Oh. Oops. And then to make it really, really good, we you can still garnish it mm -hmm. with your boiled kamote on top. Okay, that's fine. And then the next is we can have, maybe you have to wash this one. All right, then explain, I'll be back. Okay, so we can wash the blender first, and then we can maybe add other fruits. Now, if mango is not available, you can put um, the pomel, the, sorry, the cantaloupe. Cantaloupe is good, the melon, okay? Or sometimes, if this one is not available, you can put other fruits like... Um, the, the kiwi. Okay, kiwi is good. You don't need to remove the seeds. Just add all the fruits and that becomes your fruit blend. Or, you know, the best one is actually the favorite of the mandra kids, the durian. Wow, putting durian in your smoothie is really perfect with little ice and that becomes like durian ice cream. So you can have a wide variety, wide preparation when it comes to smoothie. And sometimes instead of just putting the fruit, you can have your own combinations by putting your wheat germ or your uh, sesame seeds. The wheat germ has its, its own unique taste. Now it has its own unique smell and it has its own unique nutritional value. This is really good, good in B complex and good in iron, same, same true is with the uh, with the sesame seeds sesame seed has good amount of fat and heat has also good amount of nutrients so this time yeah, yeah, let's try again. to soy milk here. to add little banana oh okay. right here okay so banana flavor How many? one or two just one just one but instead of just banana we will be adding sesame seeds mm-hmm okay there you go. It's better if you will be putting real ripe banana. Because if the banana is half ripe, mm -hmm. now you can you can taste the tarry, you know, tarry mm -hmm. flavor. So it's not really a good mixture. Now if you don't have uh, icy soy milk, maybe you can put little ice chips to make it really oh, smoothie. It's, it's still intact. Okay, so 
you will be needing a good blender, okay? Mm -hmm. uh, a blender that is really high powered, uh, you know, when it grinds, it can actually grind the fruit. Yes. Now, sometimes if you, if you are in the area with coconut, wow, coconut smoothie is best, really best. Uh, but if you will be adding papaya, be sure to drink right away because later on, the taste is not really as good as... You know, Spine? with this, with the soy milk. Yeah, I think so. So okay. I think that's good. So this is now your banana sesame okay. smoothie. There you go. And okay. to make it really nice, you can put your sesame on top. Yeah, you know what? Let's say I have tried saba. Latundan, mm -hmm. the evergreen, but the best banana that I have tasted is saging. You know that one? Yeah. Saging is the Tagalog yes. for saba. I'm oh, sorry, for banana. <laughs> saging is the best, actually. A saging a day keeps the doctor keeps away. The doctor away. <laughs> so okay, maybe one more. For the last one, can we try combination of flax seeds and with germ with, and with sesame? This, All the seeds. Banana? Yeah. With okay. this banana? Sure. Okay, add it. Okay, can I add sweet germ? Yeah. And little of this? Sure. And of course, this is good for diabetic and this is good for hypertensive, high in cholesterol. Yeah, yeah, this is good flaxseed. for your health. Okay. There okay. you go. We have three flavors Today now. Today we have a very special guest. And let's see if she can actually choose the best from these smoothies. I'd like to call our guest Dr. Doris Mendoza. She is the president of the Iloilo Medical Society. Come here, Do Dr. Doris. Yeah. I know you're always with the kids, Good right? Good morning, yes. And you are always with the kids that have... Heart problems. Right. And this time we will try if the kids can actually, yeah. you know, yeah, get, appreciate, take, that one. appreciate this kind of. Actually, they look really good. Now, the mm -hmm. taste is the, another question. Yeah. But the first thing that really attracts them would be the appearance. Yeah, right? yeah so that, that's already that's something good for the children, huh? Right. So, to make it really beautiful, maybe we okay. can still add some of. With germ. Okay. With germ. Okay. With germ. There we okay. go. Okay. So, Dr. So, Doris, by the way, these formulas contain no sugar and okay. no honey. So, we intended that it is really low sugar mm -hmm. just for us to have the basic taste. And then later on, maybe we can add honey or molasses if we want to improve the taste. Actually, so, it's good for me, not only my yeah, patients. Yeah. So, this is your okay. mango. Smoothie. Mango smoothie. Wow. Tastes like oatmeal with mango. <laughs> wow. Oatmeal with mango. So it's a so good one. Huh? So it doesn't That's my taste usual like. usual breakfast. Okay, this one is camote, sweet potato, and uh, yeah. s um, looks soy like milk. Ubi too, no? Yeah, yeah with mango. Like That's with mango. With mango, mango. so. Tastes like the first one, plus a touch of a camote? violet camote. Yeah. How about this one? This one is with sesame seeds and banana. Okay. Mmm. This really tastes like sesame smoothie. Okay. Mm. I think you should have blindfolded me. Oh. <laughs> so next show, we will try to do that. Guess oh, the next it. time we'll invite you around, we'll blindfold you. And this one okay. has lots of flax seeds and, okay. and with germ sesame seeds. Mm. This one is a little bland, yeah. right? Because it doesn't have mango. No, no, no banana. And no banana. Right? Okay. okay, Dr. But Darius. I like all of them. Dr. Darius, all, all of these are bland, okay? Yes. Now, have you tried imagining putting a little of honey? It would taste much better. I or guess. a little of coconut sugar. Mm -hmm. Coconut syrup. Uh -huh. So I think if we enhance this with the sweetening, your kids, your patients mm -hmm. can actually... Oh, yes. 
Even if take I don't enhance anymore, mm -hmm. just these two will be very attractive. So this one can be given yeah. for kids, yep. but this one can be given for hypertensive person, yeah. an adult one, I agree. right? And this one, mm -hmm. this one, this one, it is his banana. Mm, right. Can can we give this also to to a, a yes. child? Yes, okay. So except for this one. Okay. This one you can also give to a child. What but I was saying you was... You have to put honey. No, it's okay. But what I was saying was, if you just serve it that way, without the, the, the effects uh. of the, <laughs> the mango and the kamore, they might not like to try. Okay. So, Dr. Doris is right. You know, when you eat, you don't just eat with the taste. That's you right. eat with the eyes. And all with all the senses, senses right, right, Dr. Doris? So senses. the ambience is really something when it comes to right. preparation. And when you have this kind of smoothie, mm -hmm. you are so sure that you have good amount of protein. Soy milk is very good when it comes to reduction of diseases, particularly breast cancer, colon oh, cancer, yes. rectal cancer, mm -hmm. and even stomach cancer. And that can actually help our uh, viewers right now. Okay. So I doctor, recommend it for not only my patients and my friends, but also my bosom friends, wow. the breast cancer yeah, survivors. Yeah, she's the one you know, taking good care okay. of the breast so cancer survivors. Very good. So those of you who would like to join her group, yeah, you can yes. easily contact her yes. via the HCBN, and she's very much willing to help other people who have problems, problems. when it comes to breast Breast cancer, cancer and, and those of you who would like to prevent yeah you you also welcome them in your oh, group yes, right sure okay so friends our show is so short yeah, but we enjoyed a lot thank you dr doris yes. for being with us and we are so happy because we can make wide variety preparations from the soybeans we started by making it just the plain boiled and turning it to taho and tofu and now it becomes so special yes. smoothie thank you yeah, david for sharing with us how thank techniques you. on how thank to prepare you, soy milk for inviting me okay good food is not everything but without it everything is nothing thank you very much for watching our kitchen treasures thank you dr doris you're very welcome and thank you very much <music>